Hello everyone, I'm Serene Mercado and welcome to The Mayor Show. This is a special show on BPTV where we highlight the mayor of the city of Buena Park, talk about his time on city council, and even listen to some of his fondest memories as a lifelong resident of the city of Buena Park. So stay tuned as we talk with Mayor Jim Dow on this edition of The Mayor Show. As you may know, the office of the mayor is a revolving position within the city council. Each year, one council member is chosen from their council peers to fill the position of mayor. There are a lot of activities that come with the title, from running city council meetings to attending business ribbon cuttings and public events. The mayor is also the person residents and business leaders can address their issues and concerns to in the city. Mayor Jim Dow is serving his third term as mayor for the city of Buena Park and is also working on his 12th year on this council this 2012. Having been on the city council for so many years, he has been part of the redevelopment of the city and has seen the reconstruction of the city hall, police department, and community center, just to name a few. He is also a lifelong resident of Buena Park having grown up and gone to school, got married, had children, and even ran his own business. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, for allowing us to be here today with you and to get to know you a little bit more. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad you were here. Yeah, and, and the, the tour could was great. <laughs> the tour was great. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things we want to discuss um, uh, today is a little bit about the vision and the accomplishments uh, during your term here at Buena Park. Um, so starting off, what is it that you like most about being the mayor of the city of Buena Park? The most. I guess the most would be just meeting the people, talking to people. A lot of the other stuff is just not fun. So <laughs> That's the funnest. Absolutely, the people, and you represent the people. Mm -hmm. um, I know we were walking around the building and uh, the, council, the council meetings, the city meetings that right. happen. Uh -huh. um, what are some of the things that you would say to the residents here to encourage them to come out to these meetings since you represent the people what would be something that would probably help that well I, I you know they should really get involved you know like I told you before the people will come out when it's about their neighborhood or something like that but like I said we I sit up there on the dais and and you know same six people will be there every week and and people just don't get involved about what's going on in the city until something happens that they don't like and then, you know. Would you say that the communication between um, City Hall and the people probably needs to improve or what would be a way to probably improve that? I, I, I don't know, you know, we do reach out to community all the time trying to get them to come to different things. We, you know, we advertise it on the mm -hmm. marquee out in front. We, we do um, Buena Park Today. Right. We do a lot of different things trying to reach out there to people to have them get interested in things that go on in the city. Because it's not just about meetings and politics. There's, there's a lot of stuff that goes on here that Absolutely. probably most citizens aren't even aware of. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you also have run for uh, city council. What made you run for, for that position? Um, much as I hate to see it, it was probably more of a dare than anything else. A I started, dare? A dare, yeah. Kind of. That got me started and then, uh, you know, the, the rest was history. I got elected and then, gosh, then I, I had to really start doing it. Um, I know that um, one of the things that makes uh, uh, those involved here in, in, in the team of the mayor, the city council, uh, the members, is that you guys have a unique relationship, camaraderie. Um, you guys have grown up together. Mm -hmm. Can you share a little bit about that and what makes this team different from other cities? Well, I think that because we have grown up together, we know how to work together. Doesn't mean that we necessarily always agree on everything because we, we really don't. Um, but what, even though we disagree, we agree to disagree. I mean, if something comes down, we don't get mad at each other. It, it, you know, to do that, you, you, it's really non-productive. So if we just try to work together 
to do the best thing that we think is, is the best for the city of Buena Park. I mean, and we all have a little, little different, uh, even though we grew up together, we all have a little bit of different backgrounds. Definitely, and perspectives. And right. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, since you've, you've been a, a lifelong resident here in the city of Buena Park, can you tell us a little bit about the history or the beginning of of the city of Buena Park, what do you remember as the beginning? Well, of? I wasn't here during the beginning. Well, well I guess I was. Well, your, I was your here, time here in 1954. You grew up here. Um, gosh, there's just so many things. Uh, I can remember growing up here when this town used to flood every time it sprinkled, and and you know we. I remember I rode a boat down you know uh, Beach Boulevard out here. Uh, I've I've oh gosh, you know we used to play in the fields. Uh, uh, have tomato fights and the big tomato patches out there where where, where uh, 91 freeway is now oh, wow. uh, we used to go to motorcycle hill we all had like little tote goats and mini bikes and things like that and that was a place we'd go to when we were growing up it was completely different um, mm -hmm. when we left the house it would be like dark three in the morning you know go out and play maybe it was seven eight o'clock in the morning during the summer and mother would always say be home before dark well don't get dark to nine o'clock at night and so wherever we were at in town, that's kind of like where we ate or we had dinner. You know, if they were at my house, they ate there. And, and we roamed this whole town all the way from Knott's Berry Farm all the way to what we called then Motorcycle Hill. Okay. And um, gosh, we just, we got in a little mit few little mischief, but nothing really, really bad. I mean, you know, we didn't, we, you didn't do graffiti. You didn't do mm -hmm. stuff like that because you don't want to get caught doing that. It was not a, not a good thing. When you got home, it was, uh, of course, you have to remember, it was a little town. If, if I did something wrong on that end of town, and I lived on this end of town, by the time I got home, mother already knew it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah so. so you had to be careful. I would much rather for dad to find out than mom to find out. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so since you've seen um, or been here living in, in the city of, of Buena Park, you've seen a lot of the development that how the city has changed. Oh yeah. Can you talk a little bit about um, being present and, and seeing all these new buildings uh, changing the city? What do you think about that? How does that make you feel? Well, part of it is, is a good thing. The other part kind of makes me sad. I kind of miss the, the good old days with all the dairy farms and, and the fields, the orange groves and stuff that was here. Uh, we used to have a uh, down through the street, which I grew up on was Page. And at the end of that street was the hobo camp. And we'd go down there and hang out with the hobos. Mother, mother wasn't too happy about it, but we'd go hang out with the hobos. And, of course, the guy next door, there was a big white house down at the end. It's still there, but uh, they raised oranges, and we'd go in there and pick his oranges, and he'd come out and shoot at us with rock salt. So, you know, we made the mistake of going home one time and telling mother that this guy shot us with rock salt. And the rock salt didn't hurt near as bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, and I know this is one of the new buildings, correct? Uh -huh. The new, um, the the one of the new buildings um, created here in the city of Winter Park. Um, you've also been part of um, uh, new buildings like the Source. How have has those experiences been for you? Just being present and, and seeing the development of well, that. Well, the so Source is a is a project that's that's taking place right now as we speak down on uh, uh, Orange Thorpe and Beach. And if, if it matures into what the plans, it's going to be a great place and a great asset for the city of Buena Park. But that's probably going to be eight to ten years down the line before that's completely finished. Mm -hmm. So they're going, to, they're going to build it in like three phases. Um, but other than that, I mean, I've seen a lot of changes in Buena Park. There's not, there's not a whole lot left that was here when I, like when I was a kid growing up here. And throughout those changes that have happened, what are some of the challenges that you have faced as mayor and as city council member? Well, I think the biggest challenge is the state of California. Um, I've always said that if, there's, if, if anything makes any sense in government, there's a law against it. And we're pretty much, you know, ran by the state of California because they hold our money. So right now, I mean, we had great plans uh, for Beach Boulevard, we had Ripley's, believe it or not, going to come in and put an aquarium in at the uh, Movie Land and Wax Museum. We were going to have an upside down house there. We were going to have a, uh, the uh, uh, Titanic was going to be there into a hotel. All of this stuff was supposed to be starting be start built right now, except the state of California changed the rules at the end of last year. 
and all the contracts and everything weren't going to be signed until January 15th. And, you know, nobody expected it. And state changed it. Mm -hmm. They took all the properties. They took all the money. And now everybody's kind of sitting here going, uh, now what? So we got to make right. wait for, for Sacramento to make up their mind what they're going to do before we can make any plans. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I'm one of them. I used to say before I got on council, God, can't anybody think ahead? Can anybody think 10 years down the road and plan for this stuff? Yeah, you could think about it, but the rules change about every four years since I've been on here. Just about the time you get down to where you can start doing something, they change the whole, the whole rules. And they, they take the money and you got to start over. You got to start from scratch. And now we're going through the same thing. And right now we don't know what that is because we haven't got the rule, but the playbook yet. Right. Yeah. Well, you mentioned um, in regards to bringing in all these other, um, you know, like the Titanic Hotel, things mm -hmm. like that. Tourism is one of the biggest um, things here in Buena Park. Can you talk a little bit about how tourism assists the city? Well, the, the, the city of Buena Park was kind of, is grown on to, tourism because everybody knows about Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm is one of the first theme parks in the country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you had the, the, the chicken dinner house that when people used to go to the beach down Highway 39, that was the place to stop. I mean, it was, that put us on the map and, and over the years, you know, we've had, we've had the alligator farm and we've had, oh gosh, we've had, no, oh, not pirates, but uh, we've just had a lot of different things on Beach Boulevard. Of course, right now, you know, we do have pirates. We do have medieval times. And we thought we were going to have all this other stuff in, there was a lot coming through, uh, a lot of changes were going to be made on beach. We actually had plans that was involved Knott's Berry Farm, it involved the parking lot, it actually involved part of the, the mall. Mm -hmm. That was all going to be changed, all be grown, uh, developed uh, together with all this planning we did. But like I said, it all went out the window when the state changed the rules on us. So. Right. Um, well, I do know that, you know, one of the things um, that's um, kept or has continued to place uh, the city of Winter Park on the map is that it was um, named as one of the most fun towns in America. Yeah. How was that experience? Well, I'm partial. I grew up here. I, I can remember a lot of fun things in Buena Park. I mean, you know, it's always been uh, fun for me to play here. I mean, I, I got real fond memories of, you know, growing up with Knott's Berry Farm when, the, when you go there for free. But, uh, and I still think it's a, it's a great place for people to come and visit. Um, of course, we're, People who uh, come to Buena Park, you know, you got to remember Disneyland and everything is only like eight miles away. And there's shuttle services going back and forth. And so it, it's still a great place to come to for fun. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely. Um, and where do you see Buena Park in the next 20 years? Where would you like to see Buena Park? Oh, I would like to see, you know, what, what the plan that we uh, we're, well, we had, we had on the drawing board. I'd like to see that develop. That would be uh, great. I still think there's a good possibility it will happen. It's just a matter of where all the funding is going to come through. Everybody has to back up now and look at different sources. And, and, and Ripley's, you know, uh, I mean, they, they've got to come someplace to get money. So everybody's got to regroup and refigure this out. The plan's still there. The, the problem is how to implement it. Absolutely. Any final thoughts that you would like to, to Final share? thoughts? Well, I hate to put it not that way, but, <laughs> uh, well, no, gosh. I am a, no, I hope I keep right on thinking and keep on going on down the road here. Unfortunately, I'm turned out, termed out, but um, I will be watching. I'll be watching uh, the, all the city council meetings on uh, right here. Yeah. on some kind of a laptop or something in the future. Even if I still don't live here in Buena Park, I'll be watching it from wherever I'm at. I can... Hey. <laughs> exactly, and I will too, and they know I'll do it. So I'll Great. keep a close eye on it. Great. Well, thank, you. thank you, Mayor Jim Dow, for giving us the opportunity to get to know you a little bit more and to hear about your experiences on City Council as mayor and as a lifelong resident of the City of Buena Park. For The Mayor Show, I'm Serene Mercado.